five places to stay in Myrtle Beach and one you don't ever want to stay at. To absolutely avoid. Let's get to this. Our hotel resorts in Myrtle Beach we have stayed at yes. um, down in the comments below we'll put the links to like the full reviews of these places if you want to get a better look at any of the ones we're about to mention okay so number five and we'll kind of rate these um, from five to one so number five is Crown Reef uh, Resort and Water Park what do you think? Um, it's nice. It has a good location. It's like right on the edge of like the, I guess like the main Grand Strand or, or whatever it's called. It's literally almost one of the last resorts on the, the yeah, strip Yeah, so there. if you want to be like well located, but kind of away from like the bulk of the chaos, it's a great spot. And it's right next to a really good place to have Damon's. So the location of Crown Reef is really where it's at. Yeah, and the room is fine. And like I said, you're, I mean, you're out, you're right on the beach. So that part is great. Mm -hmm. And it's right on the edge of the strip. So if you want to kind of stay away from the kind of the chaoticness of midsummer Myrtle beach, it's not a bad option. Yeah. Okay. Number four on our list is the holiday pavilion. So again, with location, if you want to be in the action of Myrtle beach and you want to be like in the scene of like the grand strand, it is perfect. It is right next to the sky wheel. It is walking distance to all the little shops and things that are right there. It can't be beat location wise. Yeah. It overall, it, it the price is really good with it too. So if you're of the five places we're staying at is probably the cheapest of the places, but still a pretty quality place overall. And it does have a nice resort feel with some um, yeah. lawn chairs like out closer to the beach itself, but still close to the pool and stuff. So this is a very nice place. Yeah, and this we would definitely stay there again yeah. for sure. Number three on the list is Ocean Lakes Family Campground. Now with Ocean Lakes, if you're going with a big family or decent sized group of people to the beach, this might be the option for you. Yes, they have homes that you can rent and things like that, but they also have tons to do that you don't really ever have to leave the campground. No, you, you don't to. have to really, yes. They have a, a nice sized water park right inside of there that you don't, you never know because you don't see it from the road. And, and like Emily said, there is all kinds of different size homes, a lot of them that you can rent. Um, they're off the ground. People love the golf carts in there. Mm -hmm. And and once again, if you're even if you're at the back of the campground, you're about a five minute uh, golf cart ride to the beach. Yeah. And so there is plenty to do in Ocean Lakes. Number two on the list is North Beach Resort and Villas. And it's fancy. It it's it is fancy, and it's pretty. The price of it is up there a little bit. The price is fancy too. <laughs> the price is fit, but they do have deals, quite a few deals um, throughout the year. Um, they have a variety of different places where you can stay at. They have townhomes. Which they, is really nice. You can do um, like one bedroom flats. You can do the townhomes. You can stay in the towers and have the ocean front option. And the towers are right on the beach as well. Yes. And so, and they've got great pools and um, all that kind of stuff there too. So it's a really nice Yeah. Place. North Beach is, is really nice. All right, number one on our list is the Marriott Ocean Watch Villas at the Grand Dunes. And it is awesome. Totally unrelated to why you should probably say, but if you have kids, it has one of the best playground centers I have ever seen in my life. It is amazing. It is great. The pl overall place, it, once again, it's right on the water. Yes. Um, it's part of the Marriott Vacation Club. And because of that, it is really hard to book a room in there because it's, it is so nice and it is very popular. Um, and the it's, grounds are gorgeous too. It's like Caribbean resort type nice. Like it's really nice. And it's way off the strip. It's more close to North, more, no, more, North Myrtle Beach. Yes than anything else and it's kind of secluded too which is nice and there's a, there's a grocery store that's yeah, there's like a public pretty right. much across the street and um which is real convenient and so it's just a, it's a really great location it's a really nice resort like and they got two bedroom three bedroom options it is it's just real it's one of our favorite yeah. places to stay um when we're heading to myrtle beach absolutely Okay, so the place that you should avoid at all costs in Myrtle Beach, it is called Bermuda Sands. 
you could not give me money to stay there. Like, it is that bad. We stayed there. It's about three, three and a half years ago. Before we ever started ever doing anything with this channel, we had sold some. We had sold this large frame. Um, it was a, like an autographed jersey frame thing. So we had a, instead of shipping it, it was going to cost too much. So we said, we'll meet the person down um, around Myrtle Beach. And, and so... We were, you know, a little financially tight. It was close to the holidays. And so I was like, well, let's get on Groupon. And we found this place on Groupon. And it, the pictures looked nice. The water park looked really, not that we were going to get the water park. Was, there, yeah, there's a small little water park there. But, like, it looked nice. And, like, the rooms looked really nice. And then we got there. Oh, my there. God. We got there. There's light fixtures literally hanging from the wall by, like, the, the wires. Yes. There were, like, screws and nails in the floor. And we had our dog with us at the time. And she was a tiny puppy. And I was like, this is a vet bill that yeah. we can't afford. Oh, God. We were really worried about that it was just an overall it was just a nasty yes, nasty like place people, like human hair was like in the bathroom and other people's hair stresses and, me out. and because it was on the beach you would think that i mean at, the, at, at, at the minimum it'd be okay right but no so do not get fooled and just thinking at bermuda sands and, and just overall make sure is if you are staying at the beach and you think it's on the beach it's going to be okay Try and do a little bit more research. We did not do any. Re I'll admit, like we did no, not. No, because it was last minute on ours, and it was very last minute, and it was a good deal on the Groupon, and it was only supposed to be for one night. And we're like, oh, even if it's not that great, we can tough it out, and we left and had to go. Yeah, we left in the middle of the night to find somewhere else. So avoid <laughs> Bermuda Sands. Oh, so if you have any questions about any of the places we have stayed at or the places we would avoid, um, just leave them down in the comments below and we'll be glad to help you out in any way. Or if you have suggestions for yourself of places that you'd love to stay in Myrtle Beach for other people who are watching this video. Yeah. Bye y'all. Bye.